Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. Today I have a new e-file, nail drill, whatever you prefer to call it. It's basically an electronic file. Yes, it's basically just like one of these, but in a round electronic format. I've actually been testing it out about a month now. I've redone all the hard gel that was on my nails. Now it's a lot thinner, looking a lot better. I still got a lot of work to go, but this has been tested on hard gel. Very, very hard hard gel. Sorry, I've still got some glitter here. I may have to put a paper towel down for all the dust it creates. I wanna show you the package. This is, let me see, you know, my, the Bell e-file nail drill, it's portable. It's about eight inches long. By not quite five inches. And the height is about four inches. Would make a perfect gift for somebody. Nail lovers in your life, it would wrap up nicely. The lid opens straight up. Woo! And they have an email. Bell at bellhomeus.com and all your cautionary items. This is model DR2036. It has the standard US and Canadian input and outputs. So let me get this. Remember, I have opened this, so it's not exactly packaged the way it was because I had to re put it in the package. When I received it, it looked something just like this. Your instruction manual on top. I had to charge mine for two hours, even though it recommends eight. I left it on for eight just to be safe. It says for battery usage. Let me go over the little brochure. They do thank you for using their for ordering their product. It talks about what they specialize in. You can screenshot this if you wish. They have their Instagram, their email, and their YouTube channel. Didn't even know until just now they had a YouTube channel. All the precautions about not using an excessive heat. Don't use it when you're wet. Keep the dust out of the little holes. Everyone, if you've used one before, you know this. If not, watch your YouTube videos on these. Do not use it. It is meant to use as a nail machine. I read that in here somewhere. Where is that? Before it's used, inspect it. I know it said somewhere about, yes, use only for beauty care. So those wanting to use it as a portable drill for hardware, uh-uh-uh, somebody's already wanting to confiscate mine. Don't be using that for that, even though it probably is powerful enough. Somebody I know wants to clip this on his belt and use it. I told him, no, hands off. It tells you your product it gives you all the rundown of everything in here, and you can always save my video to go over it if you purchase one. I believe I saw, I believe there was a 5% coupon code on Amazon US, and there it's available in other countries too. I will have the US link, and I'll try to find it in a couple other countries as well. It's high power, yes, it is high power. Quiet, yes, yeah, pretty quiet. Mini size, oh yeah. Rechargeable, yep. Portable, yep. Space saving, yep. Lightweight, very, very lightweight. Compact design for traveling, ideal for professional salon, studio, and home use. I'm a home user. This is my thoughts on it. It has a 2000 mAh big capacity lithium ion battery. And I did look up what that means. That means millifere hour, or that just means how long it lasts. It lasts a long time. It comes with a lot of drill bits, and I'll show you that. Well, put it, you know, the standard pack of drill bits. Easy operations, carving, grinding, sharpening, sanding, polishing, drilling, basically any kind of mechanical file work you want to do, pop your blings off, whatever, it'll work. Twist lock system for changing your drill bits, that's your chuck. I love that, that is a feature I won't do without. I don't like to pull them out. It has multiple protections for your battery, overheat protection, overload system protection, it has passed all these certifications, certif certifications, FCC, I think that's Federal Communication Commission. I'm not sure about that one. I am very familiar with Underwriters Laboratory. 
all electronic products purchased in the U.S. that have passed that and it bears their symbol. If the manufacturer does not comply with your, if you've had an electronical problem with it, something's really unsafe, like I had a, a satellite receiver box that I was smelling plastic burning and it ended up that it was smarted a small fire many years ago. I contacted the manufacturer. They were taking quite a long time to come back to me. I contacted them. I believe they contacted the manufacturer on my behalf because all of a sudden I get an email and a, a box to box and a new system sent to me. All I had to do was send my old one to them. If they didn't do it, they were going to do it and they were going to fully back the product for electric because it had an electrical malfunction. I'm not sure everything that they do, but you can Google Underwriter Laboratory and see. So if their email in the front, you contact them and they can't resolve your problem, these people will. It has the regular power supply for the US, battery output, the capacity is 2000 at 11.1 .1 volts, Charging time is two hours. Note, it takes eight full hours to charge the battery on the control box fully for the first time, just to extend your battery life. For me, it looked fully charged in two, but I left it plugged in for eight hours. And then later, it'll only be two hours. It's a fast charge. Use, it, use time at full speed is 10 hours. There's no way I can test that using it for 10 hours. It has 30,000 RPMs. It comes with it says six drill bits. I will show you that. It tells you all the general operating instructions. When and how to charge a machine. I will go over all these. When the battery has one bar left, just like your cell phone, plug it in and charge it up. Pretty cool. I'll show you how it plugs in. When the battery bar stops flashing, turns to solid, the machine is fully charged and ready to go. It does stress charging at eight hours the first use to extend that battery. And the LED display reads 1 to 30, which you times it by a thousand. So when it's 30, it's 30,000. When it's 1, it's 1,000. Just add the zeros onto it. It has all possible problems. Say your handpiece suddenly stops working while you're using it. The machine is overloaded or the drill bit is blocked while using. And it tells you how to fix it. There's many, many what ifs. And here's all your maintenance, like don't switch reverse forward to reverse while it's moving. Always make sure it stops. All of their nail files are high quality and have been tested before shipping. I love that. So you get it in, you know it's going to work. Unless something happened in transit, then that's not really their fault, but they'll fix it. All their products are under six month warning from date of purchase, except basically when you abuse it, you can read this if you want. If you have any problems, contact them by via their email address they will help you out and they thank you again and yes it has the underwriters laboratory seal recyclable all these other information keep this handy for future reference and I can't remember if I showed you this is what it looks like in the box let me pull her out and first I want to show you this packaging because I was amazed this is like mailman proof packaging my mailman likes to drop stuff like just drops it out of his vehicle plop on the ground i don't know why does it onto the concrete i've seen packages in the road but this is a mighty durable packaging gotta love that so this is your basic unit i've used it so mine's a little dusty you see i have used it quite a bit this is your LCD display, LCD display, and here's your on-off button, switch I should say. It's off here and it's at max if the little tick is all the way over here. This is where your hand piece fits in, but I will do that. Forward reverse. This is where the plug goes in, and then the plug goes into your wall. This is where the hand piece, you could clip the thing on I'll show you that and this is where you can clip it to a belt to a box to whatever to help carry it around you could actually walk around your home or studio with this very cool now this is how it looks in the package and I have like I said I have opened this it was not torn 
In here was my hand piece. I couldn't get it back in the box. In here is the charger cord, drill bits. Let's just get it all out and see. The cord, everybody always wants to know the length of these. This is a US cord and Canada, and I'm not sure what else. Yep, you all listed. Very, very good. Don't be using it while you're swimming. Very good. I didn't need to even unhook mine to charge it. I just put it on my countertop. You plug this into here, plug this into your wall, and it will charge. Very, very cool. I will put on the screen how long this is. I have to measure it. Also, you receive your little hand piece holder. It goes in like so, slide down, it's clipped in. Or you have your tabletop rest. Then you have the standard package of drill bits. The most commonly used one that I've heard and seen used is the mandrel. I did see just this morning, I looked up the product information again. They still have the $5 off coupon going and they also sell these separate, a mandrel and a variety of sanding bands or armor bands if you want to get specific. They sell them in 80, 120, and 180 grit. So from coarse to super fine. And I noticed that on their other option, it'll be an option when at the product link that of course I'll put below, that the 80, 120, and 180 are all colored differently. So that would be nice at first glance you can see that. And this is the mandrel. These are all diamond bits for various, various uses. Everybody uses them so differently. You just take your desired coarseness of your armor band, put it on. I would make sure that there's no glue sticking up. Just a little tip for me. I've had some other ones come in before that little papers are stuck up or there's a bit of glue on there. And like I said, I redid all of these, but I used a different bit. But I will show you and it comes with a whole package to get you started you could use it right out the door it looks like there's at least two different grits in here I'm not sure what they are because they're not labeled but that's okay you can pretty much see on there the fine ones the coarse ones you can pretty much see that and to the hand piece this is the hand piece it is pretty comfortable in my hand. I like a size like this. Some people prefer them slender. I have trouble holding onto the real slender. I can't hold a pencil very well. So this is pretty comfortable. It has a nice grip right here. And this is your chuck. And this, all of them come with this. And I'm gonna leave this in for a second. And I'll show you the chuck in a second. So you can place it into the cradle like so. When you have it on your backpack, you can place it into the holder like this. Carrying it around with you, you probably want to carry it like that. Save this if you're going to not store a bit in yours. Usually I keep a bit in mine because, you know, you've got to have it ready to go. So the other, this is, this cord is three feet long without stretching this piece. So it's very long, very, very nice. You take this and you stick it in just like the directions say into the handpiece, into the port. This is your on and off. I'm sorry, I like using it this way to see off and on. And I'll show you. The screen will tell you off forward and reverse. I'm sorry. I, I'm all over the place today. This is thousands of RPM. So one would be 1,000, two would be 2,000, 30 would be 30,000. And it goes off. And this is on, but it has no speed yet. It's not moving. And let's crank it up just to here. See, it's fully charged and I used it, well, almost fully charged, and I used it on all of my nails. 
So that's 7,000 RPMs. There's not a bit of wobble right here. Something that you want to look at when you're considering a nail drill. You don't want this shaft to move at all or you will have a horrible mess on your hands. It doesn't move. That's at seven, that's at 7,000 RPMs. And this is a full 30,000 RPMs. I'm not gonna touch it right now. Well, I could. I don't feel a bit of wobble. See that, it doesn't wobble. And you always wanna turn it off till you hear that little click. With my shaky hands, three is about the slowest speed I can get it to, which is 3,000 RPMs. Do you see it's not wobbling? Let me put it back up to 30,000. It vibrates just a tiny, tiny bit, but that's nothing, 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 especially at 30,000. Love that. And you always want to turn it completely off to switch to reverse, it will go in reverse. Let's see, what else do I have to do? We wanna test this baby out, right? Right, let me find and not drill bit. Well, this is how you unlock, pull it out, put it back in, lock it. You will hear a click. There's also a little marking right here that shows you locked and unlocked. So unlocked, locked, some others have their forward and reverse right here as well, but I'd prefer it not to even have that right there. Just a little button. This one does not have a foot pedal, but I don't use it. I don't like them. I don't know many people that actually use them. And I'm gonna get out a bit that is shaped so that you can see if it wobbles or if it doesn't wobble and I'm gonna test it out my flexi finger will come out for those of you that don't like trainer fingers please be warned it will come out in this video so save these if you're going to travel with it and not keep a drill bit in otherwise you can dispose of that if you wish just keep something in here always 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 make sure that this is clean before you insert, otherwise you're pushing dirt into your nail drill. I've seen a lot of people put their drill bits in like this. This will wobble, wobble, wobble. Some people prefer to put it all the way down. I prefer a little bit of space. That's just me. My preference is unlocked. There's a nice, nice, hard, hard click. I like that. It's very easy to do. And we're going to turn this on and this way you'll be able to see from the tip to the flared edge if it wobbles. So here we go. I, I'm always looking at the wobble. The torque, by the way, is very good. It does not stop when I press it against my hard gel. And I remove gel polish with this. Remember, this bit is not included. It starts off nothing. This is at 5,000 revelations per Revolutions per minute, rotations per minute, whatever you want to call RPMs. Other than my camera moving, it is not moving anywhere. Let's take this baby back on up. 20,000 rotations per minute. There's no way I can measure that. And look, you can go by number, 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 number. Completely off. You want to reverse your speed, reverse your direction, turn it off, reverse it, and it goes in the other direction. I'm just trying to get it slow for you. It's still so fast with this bit that you can't really see, but it is going in the other direction. I like to use mine on forward. For me, I use it on myself. I'm always switching my hand direction just to do it. It's just how I got used to doing it. And now we're going to put this baby to the test. Get out my trainer finger with a hard, hard poly gel nail. This is an incredibly ugly nail, I warn you. This is incredibly, incredibly ugly, but this is just to show you trying to remove, make a dent in this poly gel. We're going to put it to the test. I'm going to 
I don't want to have the control box right next to what I'm doing, so I just don't like to have my file that close. But I'll come up here and show you what RPMs I have it on. I'm going to put a towel down. Now, no way am I a professional. So this is just to show you the power and that the torque is adequate or not. We don't know yet. I haven't tried on poly gel. When you press down, it sh this bit should not stop. We are going to see. So first, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to do it at 4,000 RPMs. This is way too slow, but you'll see. It does not stop. If I were to press down and it stopped, the torque would not be high enough. This torque is plenty, plenty good at a low speed. Let's show you what this baby can do at 15,000 RPMs. That's halfway. Sorry, my spacesuit is very hard. Look, I can just come right in. And this is not a demonstration on how to file your enhancements. This is just showing you the torque this has. I'll put it only to 12,000 RPMs. Doing it the wrong way. I'm not used to doing it on someone else. I'm barely learning on myself. That's the wrong way. This is the proper way. take one with some color on it so you can see a little bit better and you can do the same thing with with the bit that's included let's let's destroy this poly gel nail this is your yogi clean up your dust so I'm not doing a whole lot of filing here this is your yogi your yoji I'm not sure how to say it poly gel and this has their gel polish, some stamping, some glitter, what have you on top. I'm just going to take a little bit off just to show you with the red so that you can see it visually that this has great torque. And remember afterwards, clean these off before you take out your bit so you have no problems with it. These are just things that I've learned along my way here. And I'm still a beginner, but these things are magical. 16,000 rotations per minute. I don't want to ruin my whole pretty design. I hand filed this, by the way. That is literally, now I turned it down to 14. Let's go up to 23. lifting up before I go this way. I'm only pushing down to go this way. It's really hard for me to talk and do this. But you get the idea. Sorry, let me clean up real quick. 
Now, of course, you'll want to be wearing your protection, especially if you're taking off bling, eye protection, respiratory protection. Remember all that good stuff. Look it up if you're unsure. You don't want to have, breathe in dust. Even your own nails, I wouldn't want to breathe in. That's just me, but a lot of people does it. Do what you'd want to do. I like to take a very, very almost dry towel, wipe off around the point of my bit insert, make sure that it's clean, wipe everything down. This is not wet, it's just very, very damp. I wipe all my surface down. I will spray this all down with alcohol, let it sit, and to release your bit, but I like to wipe it down so that if I release my bit, it will not be dirty in here. As you can see, it took off all of the gel polish. I had glitter in here. I had stamping, top coat. It took it off very nicely. Even though I've never filmed doing this on camera before. Thumbs up. Love it. I'm really liking this. And then if you clean it out, move it to where it says unlocked. And you pull it out. It should be all clean. If it's not, I clean around. Don't let anything get in the hole. Make sure you replace your bit with something. For now, I'll put this back in just so that you can see. And it's a strong lock. I like hearing that little click. I like it. The bit does not wobble. It does not seem to kick back unless I'm using it in the wrong direction, as you may have seen. These you do need to sanitize, but this did not come with it. That's a carbide bit I bought separately. So that was two different poly gels. I believe this was You Are Sugar. This other one, the red one was Yayoji. It does come with this. This you can do the same thing with. This you can use in both directions. My bit you could use in both directions. This is a two-way carbide bit. Love that little baby. You can use your diamond band, diamond bits in both directions. So it comes with this lovely little beginner set of sanding band and diamond one, two, three, four, five. Five diamond bits. It has like your football, your cone, your large and small barrels. Most people, though, are a mandrel person. It has your desk rest, like so. It's, it's all one beautiful silver color. The desk rest does feel like it sits in there pretty well. You know, my little thing isn't a desk here. It wobbles. It sits in there pretty well. The machine, I've only had it sitting right here in my lap. So, yeah, portable. You would want to dust it off. So you'd want to dust this completely off after you use just a dry paper towel or one of those microfiber cloths. I'm going to give mine a good dusting off. It comes with this. You can place your item like so. I've got such a tiny filming space and this is sitting right here in it. Came with all this and a bag of extra mandrel bits or armor bands, sanded bands, whatever you prefer to call them. All of this came together. It's under $50 before the coupon. There, I looked this morning, the coupon was still active. It's a $5 off coupon. I used my coupon, of course. We all love coupons. So this, to me, is a, a pretty great deal. I really like it so far. If I ever have any problems with it, I will link a video down below in the description, an updated video. So if you're watching this a year from now, it'll still be down there. So check that out for any updates on this. So if I ever have any problem, so thank you for being here with me today, showing off my latest portable nail drill, e-file, whatever you prefer to call those. Anything that I need to amend to this video will be in the description box down below. If I ever have any problems with it, if the company doesn't have doesn't do their customer service like properly anything I'll do a video 
or I'll write it down in the description. So if you're watching this, say this is 2019. If you're watching this in 2020, 21, 22, hopefully you are. It'll be down there. If I did a video, I will link it down below. You can always ask me in the comments. Everybody on YouTube does like comments. I'll try to answer any questions you have about the drill in the comment section. So you can just, just write me a comment and I'll try to answer you. Anything that I know, I'll put their email address down in the description. And the link, the purchase link down there too. Every, all your information will be down there. Anything that I need to amend to what I've said will be down in the description. As always, I always do that. Even if it's a year from now, I'll go back and amend the description. And like I said, any problems that I have, if I encounter anything that I didn't discover in the past month, I will let you know. I'll try to do a video on it. I'll write something up. So please check the description. I'm just really, really loving this e-file, electronic file. Yeah, I get jokes about it with some someone that keeps telling me I don't want to do my taxes when I talk about my e-file, my e-file, my e-file. Anyway, I'm rambling on. If I if you want me to demonstrate something else with this and I'm able to, please let me know down in the comments. And I will do so. Thank you for watching everyone. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little bell. The subscribe is and the bell are totally free. Subscribe would really help me out. And you'll be able to find me again. The little bell icon will tell you when I upload next. I would appreciate it if you turned both on. It would help me out. And you'll be able to see more videos like this. And please give me a little thumbs up if you like videos like this. It will help YouTube know that you want to see more videos of this nature. And thank you everyone for watching today. Until next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.